Does the Torah treat woman any less than a man? No. What do you think? No. Yes? No. No? 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 Okay. I don't know about you, I don't know if you ever noticed this, but every morning, man makes a birachah. Do you know what the birachah says? Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam, thank you God, Master of the Universe. Shelo... Let me talk. Shelo Asani Isha. Thank you, Hashem, for not making me a woman. Isn't I'm saying this to a room full of women. Isn't that pretty, uh, uh, pretty disrespectful? No. And the woman's biracha. Now I'm not. Now it's rhetorical questions. I answer my own questions. The woman's biracha is Shabaru Shasani Kirtsono. That means Hazita, you made me second fiddle, but thank you, you did your will. This is what you chose. It's okay, I accept. I'd like to explain it. Anyone who thinks that that's the meaning of the Berachot have no understanding of Judaism at all. I'd like to explain it if I can. Let me tell you how Judaism works. You see, let's be real. Boys, men are crazy. They're crazy. They're so much crazier than girls, they're crazy. And if you're not sure, come to a work in a school that has girls and boys in it, and we have wonderful boys and wonderful girls, but the difference between the two is dramatic. I'll tell you an example. If you see a sidur that a girl uses often, you'll often see in the middle of the Amidah, you'll see lipstick. <laughs> You know why? Because they're holding the sidur like this. A man, in their life, a man never holds a sidur like this. Never puts it on their face. Because women are much purer than men. So men, that's why men, because they're crazy, because we're nuts, we need to wear tefillin every day, and tzitzit, and talet, and hear the shofar, and sit in the sukkah, and shake a lulav, and count the omer, and do all the different mitzvot that a man is obligated to do. Because we're crazy, we need all these mitzvot to make us somewhat subdued and normal. Women are created much purer to begin with. So a man makes a beracha, shalom, asani, isha. Thank you, Hashem, for not making me a woman, for giving me the opportunity to do more mitzvot. A woman makes a beracha, shasani, kirtsono. What does that mean? Not I'm second fiddle. That you made me kirtsono, closer to your will. I'm closer to perfection than a man is. A man needs mitzvot to achieve perfection. You, a woman is kirtsono, like God's will. They're closer to God's will to begin with. So they don't need to wear a talet every day. The woman and uh, the wall and people who think that a woman should have a right to wear tefillin is insulting the woman. Because it's like saying that women need it. You don't need it. Men need it. Women don't. Shalom Asani Isha is not degrading a woman. It's saying, thank you, Hashem, for giving me more mitzvot. And Shasani Kisono is not a second fiddle biracha. It's thank you, Hashem, for making me closer to your will and closer to perfection to begin with. And any person who has sons and daughters knows exactly what I'm talking about. The Torah, God forbid, never puts woman second. Never. And you did. There might be lines in the Gemara that talk about a feature of woman that's negative, just like the Gemara talks about features of men that's negative. The Torah is the same way. In our Avot, Sarah was a greater prophet than Abraham Avinu. When they had a debate, God said, listen to her. Rivka Imenu was the one who got it right as to which son should be blessed. And Yaakov wanted Esav. Rivka was right when she chose it to be Yaakov. When Yaakov Avinu was told to leave his father-in-law's house by Hashem himself, he said, I'm not going until I get permission from my wives. When God came to Moshe Rabbeinu and said, I want you to present the Torah to the Jewish people, he said, go to the woman first. Ko tomar lebet Yaakov, which are the girls, v'tagel lebnei Yisrael, which are the women. So anyone out there, who thinks that our Torah considers men and women as not, do not, does not respect women, has no clue about our Torah. 
all of the laws, in fact, the concept of modesty is not about degrading a woman and putting her in a paper bag. The concept of modesty is that respecting a woman, don't put her on the side of a bus, respect her and keep her dignity by making her dress in this proper way. The ideas and the laws for women are all about making sure she maintains her dignity and respect. Is that clear enough? Good.